The USS Nimitz is breathtaking to behold, a floating city of 5,000 sailors. When we first landed on a C-2 Greyhound, we watched hundreds of sailors. Their uniforms color-coded, red, yellow, green, purple, and brown, each defining critical jobs to refuel, arm, and launch aircraft. We met America's best trained pilots who say this mission is a new challenge. This is unlike anything the U.S. Navy has done since World War II. That may be the case. I'll tell you this. It, we are here to stay, right, in the South China Sea and in this part of the world. And I think that's the message that we really want to convey to, the, to not only China, but the entire world. Lieutenant Commander David Ash, callsign Skittles, is an F-18 pilot. When we're flying and conducting our routine missions and interacting with, uh, for instance, the, the People's Liberation Army Navy, we are very close to them physically, but we're also very close uh, to a potential conflict if one of one, either they or we misbehave or mismanage our aircraft. These close calls happen on a nearly daily basis over the South China Sea. This one in December when a Chinese fighter jet came within 20 feet of an American plane. Does that affect how you train? It makes it more real. If something were to happen in this part of the world with a near-peer adversary, the consequences uh, from a loss of material, hardware, and, and personnel would be incredible. They would be devastating. And that's why these dozens of F-18s aboard here don't stop taking off. From the USS Nimitz flight deck, we suited up to see the aircraft carrier from above. We landed safely and just in time to see in person what most of us have only seen in the movies. Truly an engineering marvel how these sailors carry out an arrested landing on a fighter jet traveling 160 miles an hour and then bringing it to a stop in just three seconds. A steady reminder that these sailors never stop putting themselves in danger to keep America safe.